What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a spinning kind of locked on effect. It's very easy, no actual, well, there is a plugin that's required, but it's for free, which is kind of nice. Now this plugin actually comes from Ryan Angle. His page will be linked down in the description along with uh, his Instagram. He actually just came out with a, with a brand which is called Final Cut Plugs. He's doing a huge giveaway on his page on cell file link will be down in the description so this video is sponsored by final cut plugs so if you guys are looking for like transitions effects or plugins then i highly recommend checking them out really cool really awesome transitions and plugins that i personally have found um, now they are holding like i said a huge black uh, friday sale now that you're watching this on black friday uh, link will be down in the description along with everything else so highly recommend it and this is where i got this cool little plugin and i'm going to show you that in just a second this is where i got the plugin from very, very cool. Um, his page will be in the description along where you can download this. So it is free. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So this is what I'm going to show you in today's video. If I push play, you're going to see, I think what's his name, uh, Corday, or I think his name used to be YBN Corday, but I think it's Corday now. But anyways, this is from his latest music video. Link will be down in the description. And this is a really cool scene that I think would fit perfect for this plugin. So if I push play, you're going to see that it kind of spins around with him. And it's kind of it kind of mimics that locked on effect without actually using any tracking, which is actually pretty insane. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Assuming you've already installed this link will be in the description again. If you want to know how to install plugins, it's super easy. Um, so anyways, you're going to go into the projects here. You have, assuming you have your video already in the timeline, we're going to go into the titles and generators. We're going to go to titles. We're going to be able to find the actual plugin. You're going to go down to custom unless it's named something else, but it shouldn't be named custom. You want to click and drag this and place it above where you want the uh, effect to take place. So right here where it begins to kind of turn or flip around or fall from the little window, uh, this is where I actually want to begin the effect. So I'm going to start it right around here and then he's going to you know tumble and fall to the ground and right as he hits his head, I don't think he hit his head on the ground, but once he's around here, this is where I want the actual effect to stop. So I'm gonna drag it right around here, as close as I can get it to, maybe here. Maybe I'm gonna zoom in there. So once you're at this point, it's roughly about a second and a half long, maybe two seconds. So once we're there, all we're gonna do is now add like a little quick keyframe, only two keyframes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the playhead to the beginning right here, and you're gonna go into scale. Now you can literally scale this up, you can scale it, uh, well you can scale it down, you can scale it up, and you have this mirrored effect around it, which really makes the, the effect actually take place, right? And then you have rotation, which is what we're gonna be doing, and you can also rotate it like this. And as you can see, we have some mirroring going on, because if you don't have that, it's just gonna be black, and that doesn't look good at all. So we're gonna pretty much do that for this video. It's super simple. So what you want to do is you want to go into rotation and of course you want to take into account which way he's turning and it looks like he's turning clockwise i mean sort of if he was flipping the other way you would just type in negative 360 and i'll show you that in just a second so we're here this is where we want to uh, begin the effect so we're going to go into the rotation here we're going to add a keyframe we're going to move the playhead to the very end maybe one frame to the left if you want i'm just going to move it to We'll do that, right? Just so we can see the actual video. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the rotation and we're gonna type in under zero degrees, we're gonna type in 360 and press enter. I, I don't know why you can see that. So 360, enter. And now if I go back and I push play, it's going to spin along with him. Now you might have to change the timing of this. So if you think it's a bit too slow, which I think it was a little bit, all you gotta do is just press command Z Command Z again until we have this right over here. So we have our first keyframe already set, as you can see right there, it's yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten this by a couple of frames, maybe one frame. And now what we're gonna do is move it one frame to the left and then type in under zero degrees, type in 360, enter. And now if you go and push play again, that looks a lot better for sure, as you can see. That looks very, very clean. And again, you can add something else on top of this. You can also move it. So that's the cool thing about this is that it's not an actual effect within the effects tab, but it's a title kind of like almost like a generator where you can move this anywhere. All right. So we're going to move it back though. And you can add another effect on top of this. So you can do maybe like a hard light if you wanted to. You can do a blur. So you can do a prism blur to create like a 3D glitch effect. So if I were to push play, 
it looks just like that. Super, super cool. And um, you can get really creative with this. You can add a lot of other effects, built in Final Cut Pro 10 effects into the custom kind of title that Ryan Angle provided. Link is gonna be in the description again if you guys want to check out his whole entire pack, which he has a bunch. He has, I think, 500 of like different transitions that are very similar to this, which I really suggest you guys check them out. Just take a look, maybe you'll find something interesting, but uh, of course do that after the video, not right now. But yeah, again, you can do so many things here. You can do, uh, if we go into stylize, we can do a bad TV effect. So if I push play, you can have this going on. Uh, personally, I think I like it how it is. Now you can do a camcorder and that's, this might actually look pretty interesting. So if I were to push play, you can do something like this. Now this doesn't rotate unless you kind of find a way to actually rotate this. And if I were to actually split this clip, delete the camcorder and maybe add it to the effect here, now we can see that it's spinning, okay? Because we actually have to apply it to the video and not the title. Now when you do that though, if we enable the, the uh, custom title here, you're gonna see that it creates a copy. And that's just, you know, that's just something you're gonna have to deal with unless you mask it out frame by frame, you can do that, but it just looks really cool. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of the camcorder effect, but I think just like this looks perfectly fine. And you can really spice up your video. So this is without the effect, looks amazing still. And then this is with the effect applied. So something like that can really, really spice up your music videos as well as your vlogs or whatever you're gonna be doing this for. So I know this is a very simple and straightforward effect. Nothing too crazy as my other videos, but if you guys found this video helpful at all, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also let me know where you guys are from country-wise, and uh, I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.